In this video, we're going to delve into the financial health of SoundHound AI, particularly focusing on its cash position. For companies like SoundHound AI, which are currently incurring significant losses, understanding their cash flow is critical. We'll break down their financial situation to determine how much cash they have, the extent of their losses, and the difference between their net loss and cash outflow from operations. It's vital to grasp these aspects to evaluate whether they have ample time to turn things around or if they are in a precarious position. However, I can tell you upfront that SoundHound AI is not in a dire situation despite its bottom line losses. Let's explore this further by examining their financials in detail. Hey guys, welcome to Stocks Price Analysis. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. Firstly, it's crucial to recognize that this quarter's figures now include costs and revenues related to their recent acquisition of Sync. This means the numbers we're about to discuss reflect this new addition to SoundHound Eye's operations. SoundHound AI reported a net cash outflow from operating activities of approximately $21 million for the quarter ending March 31st. To understand a company's cash position, we need to consider three key components. Operations, investing, and financing. Comparing this to personal finance, operations would be akin to your salary or business income, representing the core source of revenue. Positive cash flow from operations is the most sustainable way for a company to generate cash. And ideally, this is where we want to see growth. Investing activities, on the other hand, are like selling your assets, your car, house, or electronics. While you can generate cash this way, it's not a long-term solution since you eventually run out of things to sell. For companies, this category includes cash flows from buying or selling assets, which isn't a sustainable source of cash in the long run. Lastly, financing activities can be compared to taking out loans or using credit cards. You can raise cash by borrowing, but this debt needs to be repaid. For companies, this includes issuing stocks or bonds. Ideally, you want to see companies generating enough cash from operations to avoid relying heavily on financing. To summarize, positive cash flow from operations is the healthiest and most sustainable way for a company to generate cash while relying on investing or financing is less desirable. When we look at SoundHound Eye's recent performance, they reported a negative cash flow from operations of $21 million. However, this is not uncommon for a growth company investing heavily in its future. When a company is losing money, the next step is to look at its cash reserves. For SoundHound AI, their cash balance at the end of the quarter was $226 million. Given their current cash outflow rate, this amount provides them with roughly 10 quarters of runway or over two years of operational funding if conditions remain constant. This means they are not in immediate financial distress. SoundHound AI also initiated a new at-the-market ATM program, allowing them to sell shares and raise additional capital. This strategic move takes advantage of their stock price, which soared by nearly 300% earlier this year. By selling shares when the stock price is high, they can bolster their cash reserves, providing a buffer against future uncertainties and giving them more time to achieve cash flow positivity. Looking at their financial projections, SoundHound AI has raised its revenue expectations for the year. They now forecast revenue between $65 million and $77 million, with the midpoint at $71 million, up from their previous guidance of $63 million to $77 million. This adjustment reflects their confidence in achieving at least 50% year-over-year growth in future quarters. Management has also reiterated their expectation of reaching adjusted EBITDA profitability by 2025. EBITDA, which stands for earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, is often used as a proxy for cash flow. Achieving positive EBITDA would indicate that SoundHound AI is nearing a cash flow positive state which would be a significant milestone. In conclusion, while SoundHound AI is currently losing money, they are not in a desperate financial situation. They have a substantial cash reserve that should sustain them for at least the next two years. Their strategic use of the ATM program and improved revenue forecasts further support their financial stability. 
if they achieve their goal of positive EBITDA by 2025. SoundHound AI could become self-sustaining, potentially providing returns to shareholders and no longer needing to rely on external funding. This would mark a significant turnaround for the company and a positive development for investors. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.